I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Nomadic wallet that I've been testing for the last two weeks. Head over to packhacker.com for more information. Link down in the description below. Let's dive in. As I've been using this wallet for the last two weeks, I've had a total of five cards here. The first four are in this back slot, which are accessible by this little pull tab here. You can see there's a little Nomadic logo there, and then it says Nomadic on the back. It's This is the black and leather version. They have a bunch of different colors, um, but I've just gone with this style so far. So four cards back here, you can kind of pull them out and fan them out. Nomadic does say you can fit up to 14 cards inside of here, which is totally doable. I have another six right here that I'm gonna put in and just show you. So now there are gonna be 10 <laughs> inside of this back part. Let me just see if I can stuff it in here. There are gonna be 10 inside of this back panel. And then I have the one card up front, which we'll talk about in a second. But there are 10 here now. You can see it's you know still manageable for sure, and I like this material. It's like this kind of stretchy material that accommodates to everything inside. Um, so that's with 10 cards inside. We pull it open, 10 cards in the back, one up here. Pull that open, and then you can kind of still fan it out, but it's a little bit more tricky. Still definitely doable. But I'm just gonna take out the rest of these cards and put four back in. So one, two, three, four, off to the side, like that. And I'm actually gonna talk about this is a super good co uh, slim wallet that I've been testing. And um, I've had this for a really long time, like early 2000s, I would say, when they first did a Kickstarter. But I just wanted to see, this is a very similar material. You can see these compared next to one another, and this thing has held up like super well. Um, it has stretched out quite a bit over the years. Like This thing's probably just very old by now. Um, but yeah, I mean, Still holds the cards. I would need probably more in here to really pack it out. But this has started to permanently stretch after a very long time. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing with Nomadic. I assume this is going to kind of be the same way. But I have been testing it for the last two weeks. So let me throw these four cards back on the inside here. Kind of hard to remember which way it goes. And that is not the right way because I rarely have all four cards out. So there we go, stick it in there, and that will push that tab back down. So yeah, four cards, you pull the tab, they come up there. And now the front side, you can actually just have one card, or maybe two, just that you need quick access to. So I was actually holding my ID card up here. Obviously, I'm just gonna use a separate card so I don't have all my personal information there. But that's in the front here, kind of behind this pocket. And this top part is a little space for cash which has been cool too, to fold up into thirds and then put some cash in there. One of the things I like about this wallet is just how speedy everything is to access. So it's like, boom, front card comes out, want something in the back, you flip it over and grab that. And speed of access is really important to me in a wallet. So I really like that so far. And then I just have bills up here in the front just to give you a closer look at that. So pocket behind for cards, and then you kind of have this separate elastic stretch pocket up here. You could put like a key in there too if you wanted. And then I'll just show you how many bills I have inside folded into quarters. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're folded up into quarters in there. And yeah, I've just, I've really enjoyed testing this wallet. It's very quick to access. And I think it's just a clever little piece. It's minimal, it's skinny inside of your pocket. And I appreciate that. It stays in pretty well as of now too. Um, you know, as things start to stretch out, just like a lot of wallets, things can start to slide out. Um, but for now, it's it's been good. So there you have it, the Nomadic Wallet. Uh, head over and over to packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that will help support our channel at no additional cost to you. We'll see you in the next video.